The streetcar has been in Tucson for almost four years now. But how successful is it, really? News 4 Tucson's Kendra Hall looked into writer stats to find out if it's worth all the money. Kendra. Well, Sean, Alex, it seems like a great way to get around, at least from downtown to the U of A. But I looked at what the numbers say. Ridership has gone down since the first year. Now I asked the city what they're doing to turn the numbers around to pay for the cost to operate the streetcar. This is a sound that Tucson has been familiar with since July of 2014. Each month in the year, the numbers change, but every month so far this year, there have been close to 90,000 riders. Each streetcar has a sensor that tracks each person who walks through the door. The city says that they're right where they want to be. Obviously, the first year was the most exciting. So that was our highest ridership year. Since then, we've leveled off, but it, it's consistent year in and year out. Meaning people are riding. Though the numbers aren't as high as they were the first year, organizers say they're right where they need to be to cover the cost. He says most of the riders are students, and day passes are the most successful option. I just like that it comes on a regular schedule. Um, it's very clean, it's always air conditioned. I haven't had any breakdowns. I used to ride the bus. I lived farther east before, and so I had to take the bus downtown. Jennifer Lynch rides every day to work because she lives downtown. But others I spoke with say it's not convenient unless you live and work in the downtown area. And the tracks have been an issue for cyclists since day one. But the city tells me accidents are going down. One thing you'll see is there's very few accidents on here. We have a very safe system, probably one of the safest systems in the country. He says they've worked to teach riders to cross the tracks at a 90 degree angle. And he says residents are getting used to the streetcar. They say now is the time to ride it Well, it's not so crowded to ride for free. Now they tell me they aren't losing money because an organization will sponsor the event and cover the cost. And they are looking into route options sp to spread the streetcar farther than downtown. And we'll keep you posted once they host public engagement meetings on that. And check our website to see the detailed month-by-month -month reports. Kendra Hall, News for Tucson.